Hey yo, Mitch and I are going to make some green onion ground meat. We're going to give it to you step by step, so make sure you watch the video all the way to the end so you don't miss a step on how we make green onion ground meat. Alright guys, we're about to start grinding up some of that good venison, aka deer meat. Got our grinder we about to set up, big one horsepower. We gotta put some beach towels down on this table because it, it can make a mess. Y'all stay tuned. Homemade skull mount. Y'all watch that video, that one's coming out soon. Got our meat tray. Laura's about to get it done. All right, we're gonna put the grinder together. It's the most tedious part. Need a hand? No, I got it. That's deer hunting Laurie. Y'all pay attention. We gotta teach y'all how to hunt, how to cook, and how to process your own deer. Okay, I put the auger in. Now I'm gonna put the blade in. Now I'm putting the grinding plate in. Make sure it goes in there perfectly because you can mess up the blade if it's not in there perfectly. Make sure it's in there tight. And now you put the tray in. And that's how you put the grinder together. Voila! I'm gonna go ahead and get started grinding. Oh, you want this? Put it right here. You got that? Yep, I got it. Need the splash to you. I can use my hand. Put all the meat in. We like to do the deer first. It's still frozen on the inside. It's still having issues. It's still frozen. When you start grinding, make sure you get this coarse plate on. Use the coarse plate first, then you mix your seasoning, and then you go through the fine plate after that. Get rid of that plastic. Listen guys, sometimes you defrost the deer meat and it's still frozen, so you gotta do this. Take your cutting board and knife, that way it can fit your grinder. Before I start this noisy grinder again, we're gonna go ahead and grind all the deer meat first. Once I'm done grinding the deer meat, I'm gonna cut the Boston butts up and then I'll grind the Boston butts up also. Lori's grinding up, I'm about to cut up the green onions we have. Get it ready to throw in that deer sausage. Ooh, look at them green onions. Grow your own green onion. Red Solo Cup Special. Let's put them in a cup with some water. Artificial light grows them great. Check it out. It don't take long to grow them neither. We don't use these cups for deer pong. Beer pong. Deer pong. <laughs> <laughs> we use them to grow green onions so we could eat them sons of guns. Now that the deer meat is all ground up, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the side and I'm gonna start cutting up the Boston butt. All right guys, the Boston butt was on sale. Use whatever meat's on sale. This was 98 cents a pound, a dollar a pound. This is almost 20 pounds. We're gonna mix that with the deer meat. How much deer meat we took out, Laura? About 35, 40 pounds. So that'll give us with the butts, that'll be 20 pounds. So it's about 55 pounds after you take the bone out. And we gotta have enough for two packs. Whatever's left over on the Boston butt, we'll go ahead and freeze that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up the Boston Inside of the Boston butt, they have the bone. You gotta trim around it real good. And of course, this time, I started on the side that has the bone. The bone's right here, and you just cut against it. Like so, I'm gonna have to get a smaller knife to cut it against the bone. I'm gonna get you one. Small knife? Yeah. Always keep your knife sharp. The same angle as the little matchbook you used to get in the bar room. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Almost one down, one to go. Put the fat cap in there and everything. Fat cap's the best part. That fat with that uh, lean deer meat. You're gonna wanna mix the fat because deer meat's extra lean and you need the extra fat. 
I cut up the Boston butt. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grind it all up for you. We'll show you the finished pork product. I don't wanna bore you with this. The Boston butt's now ground up. Now we're gonna go ahead and measure out the seasonings and the pork and the deer meat. And then we'll mix it all together. We'll let it marinate overnight. Knocking them down, y'all. That's how we roll. All right, I'm gonna weigh out all this deer meat. I'll let you know how much we have. Stay tuned. I had four six pound batches, and then I have this left over. One pound, nine ounces. Let's see how much pork we got. We had 18 pounds of pork. We had 25 and a half pounds of deer meat. So that's nine pounds of pork per you could say 13 pounds of deer. So the total's gonna be 22 pounds. The seasonings for 25 pounds, I might leave a pinch out, but I'm gonna just throw it all in there. Look at that fat in the pork, huh? Beautiful, that's a lot of flavor going in that lean deer meat. We got it divided up. We have 22 and 22 pounds. We are about to mix it up. I'm gonna show you, you gotta put the seasoning in water and it helps the mixing process. That way everything's nicely mixed in. Then you pass it through the grinder. After you pass it through the grinder, it'll be thoroughly mixed with the green onions. What you doing? In some ice. We're gonna fill this up with some water. Some cool water, make sure it's on cold. See our green onions? It works, y'all try it. About like that, about that much water. We don't measure it. That's a lot of ice. And you throw the seasoning in the water, use a little whisk and whisk it about. All right, we got the ice water in the ice. Got the bag of seasoning. We're doing the Kins mild Cajun right now. And now you're gonna mix it up. Make sure there's no clumps inside of it. Now we're gonna put this in the ground meat. So the pork's on the bottom, and I put the deer on top. It's like a double decker, mm -hmm. and it helps helps the mixing process because it's divided half and half. A giant burger patty, <laughs> big square burger. Who serves square patties? Wendy's, huh? Yeah. We keep our green onions in the freezer in Ziploc bags just to make sure they're staying nice and cold. It's okay. Oops, that's a lot of onions, huh? I like that. Yeah. It's my favorite. Make you smell good. <laughs> All right, now I'm mixing the green onions and then I'll throw it in the grinder for the second grind. This is the big plate. We need the fine one. I'm gonna put it on. My fingers are frozen. Maybe the auger's not all the way in. Technical difficulties. Tighten it up. Ready to go. Here we go. Always make sure you have a sharp knife and a sharp plate. Another tip that you're gonna need to know whenever you use the grinder, always keep your blade and your plate together. You can tie them with some kind of string, whatever you feel like you need to tie it with, so you know which plate and which blade go together. Freeze the tape, label it. Which one's this? That was the Cajun Mile with green onion. Yeah. 
So we got to cut some more green onion tomorrow for the next batch. All right, into the fridge. Got to keep it cold, y'all. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start with the Deep South green onions. Seasoning, it's the same process. You don't skip a step, ice water, seasoning. Mix it up real good, pour it in your ground meat, mix it with the ground meat, and then go ahead and let it marinate in a meat pan overnight. And that's it. There you go. I'll keep it cool. That's enough water? Yeah. Uh, might need a little more. Let's see. <laughs> oh, it burns. Oh, that pepper and salt. Hey, give me a little more. There it is. Deep salt. Green onion. The best day is. Now we're going to go ahead and mix the seasonings in. Make sure you get it all out the bowl. I don't want none of that goodness left behind. And now you get busy mixing. Get busy, Lori. We went ahead and ground the Cajun Mild. That's already in the icebox marinating. We can't grind this one, which is the green onion, because we ran out of green onions. We're gonna stop at the store tomorrow, get some fresh green onions. We're gonna put it in here, do the final grind. Mitch got this cool little gadget that connects to the grinder and it shoots the grind meat right into the bag. And then we have the tape dispenser, easy as can be. Let me make sure this is the right one. Yep. Are you gonna carry one? Uh, I guess so. Who's gonna film? I can film. Okay. That's the green onion. That's the green onion. Yesterday, we had to quit because I didn't have enough green onions for the green onion seasoning. I got some green onions cut up already. I'm gonna go ahead and have to regrind that. But we already reground the Cajun, so that'll be able to go straight into the bag. We're trying out our new uh, wireless mics. Hopefully, they work pretty good. <laughs> we gotta put the auger in, then the blade and the fine plate. Then we gotta put the tube on. We're going straight in them special little baggies we bought. They're not dime bags, I promise. <laughs> All right, flip it in the hole. It's backwards. Oh my Jesus, she's a blonde. I'm gonna rush Jesus, you can't even stage this shit. <laughs> You're, I'm not gonna say what you are. Not oh, on that camera. That was great. We ain't gotta stage nothing for YouTube. <laughs> Don't you dare. Self-filming YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> now, you got it now? Yeah, got It's it. easy when it's clean. We struggle when it's not clean. Now I'm putting the plate. Let's see. Yeah. Good job, Lori. All right. I'm going to go, oh, you forgot the plastic piece. And you know, remember? Yeah, I told you it's one of those days. All right, we'll check back in in a few. <laughs> Got it. I told y'all we needed to cut some green onions for the green onion ground meat. Here's the green onions I had to go buy today because I didn't have any more and the ones that I've been growing. So now we're just gonna mix it all up. That's 23 pounds of meat. How many bunches of green onions that is? I had 12 bunches of green onions. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed, everybody. Yeah, I forgot my gloves. All right, now that the green onion's all mixed, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the, the grinder. All right, now let's load this baby up. I like the little microphones. Why? They look professional. <laughs> Sticking out right there on our shirts. You can buy the little baby microphones and hide it. Oh, I'm not worried about all that. Oh well, maybe I'll watch as a word about it. All right, guys, we're just showing y'all how we live. 
down here in South Louisiana. We hunt deer and we make a bunch of good food down here and we eat our deer. Maybe a couple of y'all, a handful of y'all, maybe take our advice and follow suit, you know? If not, do your own thing. Buy your own preseason. Make your own season. We're just trying to make YouTube videos for fun. <laughs> All right, this is the last little bit in. Stuff it in there. We're gonna get it to the tip. There it is. Whoa, look at that. Like a big turd. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Laura's more photogenic, so uh, we're gonna get her the bag. That way I can be the cameraman. I always get to be the cameraman. All right, so Mitch went ahead and labeled the bags for me. So now you stick it on the end of the tube, push it all the way to the end so it fills up the, all the corners and everything. You need the plunger. I forgot the plunger. There it is. Oh, yeah, it's going that bag. And you hold good tension on it, and then you just turn it off when it's time. We got waiting for the camera to see what's up. Good Lord, that's a two pound gun. Yeah, and you take all the arrow, that's what I was doing, smushing it down, and then you go ahead and twist it, and then you stick it right here, and voila. Voila, you got a little thing, you can cut the tab off if you want, but we don't have to do that. I'll leave it there. All right, so we got the scale. You never put the scale on a towel or anything. Make sure you put it on a flat surface like the tabletop. So let's weigh this bag. I'll say two pounds, what you say? Two pounds, maybe a little more. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh. That's almost three pounds. Two pounds, 14. No. Nope. 1.4 yep. ounces. So it's two pounds, 1.4 1. 4 ounces. ounces. So right over two pounds. That's perfect for what? Our favorite. Yep. Two boxes of Bambi Helper. No. Or some tacos. Burgers. Yeah, tacos. Hey guys, you like that video? There's more to come. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned.